The first thing that I do with making an ice cream cake is I start to prepare the hot fudge sauce. What you're going to do is you are going to take one cup of whipping cream and a half a cup of light corn syrup and bring it into a boil into a nice good heavy saucepan. As soon as it comes to a boil you're going to take it off the heat and you're going to add one and a quarter cups of semi-sweet or bittersweet chocolate chips. And you're just going to stir these together until the chocolate is melted. As you can see it's quite runny so you're going to rather put it in the fridge or the freezer to help it set. I'm going to do the freezer and it'll probably be in there about 15 to 25 minutes and I'm going to just you know, every five minutes go in and stir it just so that the temperature stays even. You want it to get firm but you don't want it to get to become a solid. You want to be able to still be able to spread it onto the ice cream. Yum. Yeah, yum, once it's set. All right, there it is in the freezer. So while that sets, I will start with the other components of the cake. Some Oreo cookies. And I separate them. And so I'm going to be using just the chocolate cookie part. So what I do is I just pull two apart and then I put them together to make like a double stuffed Oreo. And I put them there in a container to eat later. And then I put these ones into a Ziploc bag. And then after I'm done that, I'm going to take a rolling pin and just roll over them to make them into like a nice crumble. I don't know if you can see that that good, but nice and fine. You can have some chunks, but not big pieces. So I used two of these packages to get the right amount of cookie crumb that I wanted. You got a good amount of cookies left over. And you could just buy the crumbs already done for you in your baking section, but I got the big box just because Costco had this large box on sale for $3. And so it's actually cheaper for me to buy this than it pre-crumbled. Next, you're gonna line a medium-sized spring pan with plastic wrap. So here it is all lined. Now, you do this to make it easy um, to get it out um, you know once it's all set and frozen when you unload the spring you just pull the saran wrap off of it and it's ready to go versus um, the ice cream adhering to the side of the pan so that's why we do that so once that's done we're ready to start assembling first thing I'm gonna just make a classic one so I'm using chocolate on the bottom I don't let it get too soft because ice cream gets really strange after it's melted and then refrozen. I don't let mine get too soft. I don't let it really sit out at all. You may, you know, if you want five minutes, but what I do is I just take it with a really good solid spoon and I will put it in here and press it in. So that's, I filled it just about half full. And as you can see, I didn't use all my ice cream about, I don't know, three-fourths of it. So I'm just going to put this in a Tupperware container now and freeze for another time. Next I'm going to add some hot fudge. Again only about three-fourths. If you want you can refrigerate this and use it to drizzle on top when you're ready to eat the cake. And then next we'll add our cookie crumbs. Gently pat them down and then you're ready to add some vanilla. There we are. Now that's probably the most challenging layer. If you put this in the freezer to set the cookies and the fudge sauce before adding the vanilla, it'd be easier, but I'm too impatient. And again, I used about three fourths of a container, so I'll put that in the freezer. And now I like to top mine off with a lot of sprinkles. You can do whatever you want, but I like sprinkles on top. So before I, pre before I present mine, what I'm gonna do is after I take the pan off, I will put some whipped cream along the edges on the top and the very bottom just for presentation and taste kind of like how you would find in a store and um, that's how I finish mine off okay so I covered mine with saran wrap and I put it back in the freezer and I'm gonna let it set overnight um, I'd say you would want to let it sit for a minimum of eight hours if you're gonna do it the same day so just doing it overnight makes it a bit easier 
Okay, here it is. It sat all night and I'm going to cut a piece just to make sure it worked properly before I take it over to a friend's home. Because once when I made it, the fudge center froze and I couldn't cut through. So I'm going to try it first. It worked. The fudge did not set completely and you can cut right through it easily. And there's the layers. Here's a piece that I cut out and it's delicious. 